Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna leave that for now. And probably never think about it again. Actually, you know what? Let me let me let me, let me cook here. On, let me let me let's let's Google this together. Is there... Wait, what? After clearing the cavern, right up the pillar that goes up to the second floor in the main room. We use the bomb flowers to make a stairway. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to come in here and make the stairway go small. I was supposed to to not do that. Well, I gotta come back in here as a doll link anyway. Hello, hello everybody! My name is Nick Fox, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. We're going right where we left off from the last video. Um, we're gonna go into the fairy fountain here. I think there's a the fairy fountain's here. Boy, if it's not here, I'm gonna look very stupid, because that's what I said at the end of the last episode. Uh, no, something happened. Oh! Huh. <laughs> it's not what I thought would happen, but okay. I'm gonna go get some uh, some more gold skull tallas before we go get the master sword. That should take the entire episode. But if not, we'll play around as adult link a little bit. The indulgent pan shot. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. I'll give you a magic spell. Please take it. Yay! <laughs> this is Ferrari's wind, or nay, this Ferrari's wind. It's green. It must be Ferrari's wind. I feel like Nehru's love is in Gerudo Desert, but I'm not sure. The warp magic you can use with C work when you are in danger. We will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. If you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point or warp to that point. So basically, it's a. If you have to stop. If you have to, like, stop playing mid dungeon, you can just create a, a point to go back to. Because if you turn the game off mid dungeon and turn it back on, you just go back to the beginning of the dungeon. So for always wind is just like a checkpoint system you can use. I think that's just about everything I can I know there's probably stuff around here somewhere that I can do with, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna head off to Great Deku Tree. Let's go back to the Deku Tree. It's fairly close from here, from what I remember. A little bit of a walk, but we'll get there. So I don't know. I don't know if there actually is another Gold Skull Tala hidden in the uh, the Deku Tree, because there was that bombable wall kind of toward the end of the dungeon. I don't know if there's anything in it. I know there is at least one Skulltella in Dodongo's Cavern. And while I'm near Dodongo's Cavern, I can go ahead and put that, uh, that bean plant right outside of it. Actually, I could probably just go to the Lost Woods through here. I don't know what that forest stage was from last time, by the way. I never got confirmation on that. Yeah, here it is again. But I, I still don't know where it, what it is, so I'm not even going to worry about it. So if you um, come to this Lost Woods from Zora's Domain, take a left, or take a right and then a left, and you'll you'll be there. But I don't I don't know what it is. Tree. It's 
so weird coming up on the Deku Tree when he's all dead like that. It's even more unsettling now. Yeah. Sorry, Deku Tree, I have business here. So that. So Tolo was down here. Where, where specifically it was from here, I don't remember. Let's see if we can't find out. No, it's not down from here, because down is just... Yeah, down is just the boss room. I think it's back through here. Or we could have just made a warp point at the beginning of the dungeon just to warp back out of here, huh? Didn't even, I didn't even consider that. I've never really used Ferrari's Wind. Yeah, but this is the room, though. Door here and everything. There's definitely a skull toll in here. Okay, I need my boomerang. Wait, can I climb that wall? Because there have been a couple instances where there have been skull tollas. I've just been able to climb the wall. I cannot climb that wall. Okay. Okay, yeah, there is a little icon that shows up on the on the map that when you get all the skull tolas. Okay, cool. It's good to know. It's good if it's good information to have. Good information to have. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll head on over to uh, the Dongo's Cavern. Probably, I'm gonna see if I can go through Lost Woods because that seems to be a shortcut straight to Goron City. Gotta climb up out of here. God, I can count on one hand the number of times I've had to climb this particular vine. I've never come back to that Skulltola, I'll be honest with you. I don't think I ever have. I just never thought to, you know? Never paid a whole lot of attention to the Skulltolas. Can I just take a moment and just say how freaking cool the beginning of Ocarina of Time is just like in the stuff you have to do like the first dungeon is like you're inside a giant tree and then your uh, uh, third dungeon is you're inside a giant fish it's just such such unique dungeon design and then after then once you turn to a doll link you're like ah it's just temples whatever like it could it could have been something like oh the temple was inside a Something, you know, make it a little more interesting. The fire temple is inside a volcano and water temple under a lake. Like, they make sense as to where the temples are. There's nothing really mystical about them. I got the Lost Woods. I started talking and I was just running out automatic, I'm sorry. It might not take the whole episode to do this. No more, no more than I have to do. I don't think... How many magic beans do I have? Okay, okay. I'm sure I had at least one. I don't think, uh... There's anything else I want to do after this. I'm sure there's probably stuff I could do. You know, I just don't, uh... Don't want to. <laughs> Plain and simple, I don't want to. I don't know that- I don't know what else I can do, and I don't want to spend time trying to figure it out. I know there's the whole happy mask shop thing. So glad I came in here for a blue rupee. Good, good for me. There I am again.
Oh, my goodness. A trick to get anywhere. I'm down to... Is there something to this circle of rocks? I feel like there's something to this circle of rocks. I mean, they, they give a lot of health, so I'm not going to complain. I blew up a bunch of them and like, oh, that's a lot of hearts, never mind. <laughs> Don't look a gift heart in the mouth, I guess. I will max up my rupees, because why not? Okay, so I want to go ahead and... Hey buddy, why are you still trying to bring bomb bombs down here? Like. You're incredible destroying those dongos. Do you mind if I call you big brother? I mean, no, but why are you still with the bombs, though? Yeah, you're incredible. Okay, you, have, you say the same thing. Seven years, I'll have a piece of heart. Okay, so where... Where was that room? There's a room back there I didn't go in. Another room there I didn't go in. There's a treasure chest there. I think that treasure chest is rupees, though, so I'm not super worried about it. Uh, where was that room with the big staircase? I think that's that's it on the left. Yeah, that's it on the left. Okay, let's we'll start there. All right. Oh, I have to do this again? Fantastic. So, the Skultola is upstairs, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to get to it. I don't know if it's a Eye of Truth thing. Because, like, there's a hidden platform. Because that alcove up there. there. How do I get up there? Yeah, you can kind of see it skittering around on the wall there. How, how, how do I do? There's, I can't make platforms. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Hold on, let me, let me try something here. I have, I have a, a bold, a bold plan. Oh. I, I did not think that would close behind me. Oh, I forgot about the shield thing. <laughs> Whoopsie. Put my Hylian shield on then. One of you is hiding a ladder. You, okay.
Okay. I've got an idea. No, wait. Yeah, okay, it starts it starts there. That's fine. So what I'm thinking is that staircase respawned to its normal position, or its original position when I left the cave. So if I leave the cave and come back, will that staircase be in its original position and can I climb up it to get to the Skulltola? Either that or there's an invisible platform that I can't see with the Eye of Truth. That I need the Eye of Truth to see. Turn to the point. Okay, no, that didn't that didn't do anything. Hmm. Because like it, you can't hook shot up there. There's nothing to hook the hook shot onto. Like, you can come in here as Adult Link, but there's nothing to hookshot onto. There's no... The hover boots won't work, because there's no place to jump from. Okay, hold on. We got an idea. Let me cook. Hold on. I gotta get out of my chair for a sec. If leaving the cave doesn't work, restarting the game might. You see, there's there's my file, and then there's the previous owner's file. <laughs> Turn to the warp point. Well, what in tarnation? What, how did... Well, I guess it kind of doesn't matter even if there is a hidden platform. Because ain't nothing to... no way to get onto it. But there's nothing to latch on to. The Scarecrow song isn't going to be any use to me. But like, what, what, what the heck? There's no way to like reset the platform. Unless I have to like turn the console off and turn it back on again. Like, leave the cave, turn the console off and turn it back. Well, I guess maybe... Here's a thought. You could probably, you might be able to cheese it with the long shot. Yes. Just long shot it and grab the. I don't know, that's pretty far. I'm just, I'm just looking to see if there's like a solid mass here that I can get up onto. It doesn't appear that there is. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna leave that for now, and probably never think about it again. Actually, you know what? Let me let me let me, let me cook here. On, let me let me let's let's Google this together. Is there... Let's see, Ocarina of Time, Ghost, Cavern, Ultola. Let's see. 
Alright, let's see how... Let's see what the internet says about this one. Okay, so I don't I don't get another wallet till they get 30 gold skull tellers. Gathering City, Kaya, Zorus, Domain, Zorus, Mountain Crater. Okay. Uh, the room where the exploding lizards play the Scarecrow song whenever he turns green, but there is nothing. Okay, so there's one I can't get till Adult Link anyway. Make a stairway, climb up the stairs. After clearing the cavern, right at the pillar goes to the second floor. Go to the room to make a stairway. If we didn't make it to the stairway yet, go to the wooden path on the left side. I'm with the vines growing this side of. Wait, what? After clearing the cavern, right up the pillar that goes up to the second floor in the main room. Second floor, go to the room. Use the bomb flowers to make a stairway. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to come in here and make the stairway go small. I was supposed to to not do that. Well, I gotta come back in here as Adult Link anyway. So I'm not gonna worry about that one. I'll come back for that one anyway, so. But there is still one more gold skull tell I think I can get in that in that one of those rooms I haven't been in before. So basically what I would have to do is I have to go through the dungeon backwards to get back to that. Like right up that pillar there and just go the long way around to get back to that uh to that room. But because I've uh I broke the staircase already. That switch on the moving platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. Yes, Navi, I know. Thank you. I probably... Okay, I was going to say, I don't need to be up here, but there's a, there's a thing here. There's a door here. Oh, there's just guys selling stuff in here. I don't need any of that. Because I know they're not selling bombs, and that's what I need. So I need to go down a floor. Ow. This is one of those dungeons where, like, I don't know where I am unless I'm, uh, Going through it the right way. I am lost. Ow. Not too lost. I figured it out, but <laughs> I looked at the map and I was just like, uh. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go around. But I looked at the. According to the website I'm looking at here, I just closed it already. But uh, 20, 20 gold skull tillers. Like at the Stone of Agony, which is the Rumble Pack thing, which I. Yeah, I don't have a rumble pack. I have a controller pack for like putting Game Boy games in and copying Pokemon to Pokemon Stadium. I can do that, but I don't have a rumble pack. And then 30 is the bigger wallet, which I think that's the most I've ever gotten was the 30. And then 40 is you get bomb shoes, 50 is a piece of heart, and then 100. A hundred gold skull tell us is an unlimited supply of gold rupees, but I don't know why you would need that. Like when a hundred gold skull tell us is the end of the game, what do you have left that requires any any cash at all? You know, I don't think there's a skull toll in this room. I think I mentioned this room, but there's just a the guy selling sticks in here. Well. I'll just go through this room to the other side, and we can get out of here. Again, I should have made a warp point at the beginning of the game, but... I'm honestly trying to wrap my head around what could cost that much... that many rupees that you need an unlimited supply of gold ones.
Like the most expensive thing I've ever seen in this game was 200 rupees. Sorry, I look back at my monitor for a second. Anyway. Let's get out of here. I know there's a gold skull teller or two in the graveyard. Like I said that already, but we'll go ahead and we'll get that. That'll get us a stone of agony. And then we'll go get the master sword. At least Death Mountain's close enough to Kakariko Village. Like right there. Kind of half wondering if I should get the um, the Scarecrow song. I probably should. The Scarecrow song is a weird one. I never really used it because it's not required. Oh, it's called Tella. Didn't even know you were there. Um. Because what it does is when you turn Adult Link, you can make a Scarecrow appear in certain places. And you can just hook shot onto it and it just gets you, like, Skulltullas and stuff. It's not required for anything. Just for secrets and stuff. I guess it's a good thing I'm going this way. I need to put, uh, plant a bean while I'm here. Gotta remember where it is. You? And boomerang? If I have enough time remaining after I get the Master Sword, I might go back and visit these two bean plants on Death Mountain in the Graveyard. I probably won't, though. We'll probably save that for the next video. Or whenever I come back to these areas. Not like I'm not going to come back to these locations. Go ahead and we'll get the Stone of Agony. This is so weird to me that you have to... Play through the game and find hidden things to be able to use the rumble pack in this game. That's weird. The curse has been broken! Yay! Thank you, here's a reward. One of agony. If you equip a rumble pack, it will react to nearby Oh, equipped react to nearby secrets. Okay. I thought that was just to use the rumble pack in general. So I'm sure the rumble pack works for like Vibration and like combat and stuff, but for okay, to find secrets that's pretty neat. I don't have a rumble pack, that's pretty neat. Like either of you. Almost daytime anyway, I'm not super worried about it. Oh wait, no, there's a cutscene. Ooh. Forgot. I forgore. Hey, what's up? I 
Dang, she got an arm though. Oh snap, it's getting. Has to wait for his own fanfare to end. You over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So you think you can protect them from me? Got guts, kid. If I don't draw your sword, like it's not gonna help you. Ah, the slow laugh. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. At least he appreciates your candor. Of course, he blasts the crap out of you, but... Panic little fool, do you realize who you're dealing with? Bro, don't... Don't say I like your attitude and then insult me. I'm Ganondorf, so I will rule the world. Kind of a douche. Yeah. Just wait till I get a Master Sword, man. In some timelines, Link, that man kills you in seven years. Anyway. <laughs> Don't... Don't the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure which is all left behind. It goes with the mystical light. You got that title drop, yo. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. song that you use a very small number of times in this game <laughs> for such an important song. It opens the door of time and it moves a block occasionally and that's about all it does. Play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. I'm 10. Also, if I have the ocarina and the spiritual stones, and Ganondorf doesn't know that I have the ocarina and the spiritual stones, why not just run? You should have just scooped me up on the horse and took me with you. Like, I know we need to use the Master Sword to defeat Ganon and all, but like... If the door's still closed... What? A, a further question, what is with this constant... It's constant in Zelda games where, like, I don't know if it's a constant, but it's definitely happened more than once. Where, it's like, oh, you need the Master Sword to defeat Ganondorf. Oh no, by getting the Master Sword, you've made Ganondorf more powerful. Like, but kind, kind of a. I have an oxymoron there, isn't it? Rehab, blah blah blah, spiritual stones, it's a lot of time, I know. Oh. Abby.
Okay, so apparently... Hold on, I'll wait till this finishes. Okay, so apparently opening this door is what leads to the sacred realm. But there's no sacred realm here. It's just a... It's just a room with a sword in it. That legendary blade. Master sword. And like also you would think the people who built this temple would have built enough of a failsafe for like, okay, only he who carries the Ocarina of Time is allowed in here. If you don't have the Ocarina of Time, you're not, in, you're not allowed in here. The door shuts in your face. It would have solved all of the problems. But no. Oh, I forgot there's a lot of plot we had to go through now. Yippee. What's up, Ganon? Excellent work. Because I thought you held the keys to the door of time. Because you thought? So you didn't just kill me outside the front gate? You led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Oh, lord. Of course I did. I owe it all to you, kid. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad I could be of service to you, oh, great Ganondorf. Do I get brownie points in your evil empire now? Uh, wake up, Link the Chosen One. Sorry, I was... I was something else. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was checking my phone, I wasn't paying attention to the plot. Towns and Zelda 2 Adventures of Link, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. And how'd that work out for you? Like, honestly. Inside the chamber, this is this chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, was the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. Well. Master Sword, the evil destroying sword you pulled out of the pedestal of time is the final key to the Sacred Realm. Why would you make the thing to destroy evil the key to the Sacred Realm? So many questions. Oh, now we're going crazy. Link, you're big now. You've grown up. Yeah. I'm adult now. Is this like the first game where you play as like actual adult Link? Is he like a kid or a teenager in most of the other ones? Or like a young teenager, not like 15 like he is here. 17 or whatever he is. Master Sword is a sacred blade which even ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Now that you are old enough, that the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Yay! Do you understand? No, but I'll say yes so we can continue on. Remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Evil. Oh no! Uh, Uh, his po evil power radiates from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence even in the sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. There's still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, sages seals will contain, will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. 
Hire Rauru and one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. Yay! The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. I got a medallion. Didn't even have to go through a dungeon for that one. Do the light medallion. Rao re adds his power to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Funny enough, I've already met most of them. I'd say spoilers, but this game is over 20 years old. <laughs> it's like 25 years old now. We're back in the Temple of Time. And if seven years really passed, looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Ah, but wait, there's more plot! I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. Have you now? You've probably been waiting a long time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the Sacred Realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in the deep forests, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, oh lord, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Sheik, the Sheikah, come on. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Link of Perry me to like Link to the Past, Link? If you believe the legend, well, I guess they can't be because Delta Timeline Link to the Past didn't come until later. You have no choice, you must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Sages waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. Sage is a girl I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. If you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Okay, do I not get the Prelude of Light now? I guess I gotta come back for that. After I get the, uh... This, the hook shot. Which is what we're going to get, but we're gonna save that for next time. That's why I paused it. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. We're finally on the road as Adult Link. Getting into the real meat of the game now. We've got five temples to go, and, uh, they're a bunch of doozies compared to what we've been through already. But we will get through it all. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like to let me know. Comment let me know what you're thinking about the game so far. Um, subscribe for more of this game coming your way very soon. And hope to see you all in the next video.